Hey there, so how can you find out the day of the week of a given date? If you are watching this video, chances are that you are writing a Python program and you need to calculate the day of the week, Monday, Tuesday, for a specific date. So, for example, if you have the following date, 24th of July 2020, the day of the week will be Friday. In this video, I will explain you three different ways to calculate the day of the week in Python. In the first approach, we will be using the daytime library. We will see another approach using the calendar library. And the last one, we will see how to calculate the day of the week without using any library. So without further to do, let's get started. First, we will calculate the day of the week using the daytime library. The daytime library is a built-in library, which means you don't need to install it using pip. The library provides a method called weekday that returns a number between 0 and 7, representing the weekday. Let's see how we can put this into practice. First, we will import the daytime library. Next, we will create a date, for instance, 2021 for and the day will be 21st and now we will call the weekday method and save the result in the variable week num so if we print this we will get number 2 which represents Wednesday since the array start by 0 now if you want your program to return the word instead of the number you can create a list containing every day of the week and then use the previous variable week num to pick the day from the list. So let's do that and... Awesome, now the program is returning the day of the week. Another way, slightly simpler, is using the strf time method, which is a method available in the daytime library. The method strftime provides functionality so you can convert a given date to a string. You need to pass to the method the format and then the method will return a string representation of the date. So let's create a date just like before and now I will call the strftime function and the format will be percentage uppercase A and that's all so if I print this amazing the day of the week is Wednesday which is correct there are other formats that you can use for instance lowercase a which will return the weekday in three letters perfect so far we have seen how to calculate the day of the week using the daytime library. Let's see how we can do exactly the same but using a different library, the calendar library. The calendar library is also a built-in library, which can be useful when you need to manipulate dates. Probably you are thinking why are there two libraries? Although some of the functionality overlaps, the calendar library offers extra functionality so you can iterate over the dates of a month or changing the calendar. In other words, the calendar library provides more functionality to manipulate the calendar. So going back to our problem, the calendar library also offers a method called weekday, which returns a number between 0 and 7. In other words, it works in exactly the same way as the daytime method. So if we go back to our code now, we can replace the daytime library by the calendar library. And so we don't need to change anything else because the weekday method works the same way for both libraries. So let's run this and amazing, we get Wednesday, which is correct. Now the last approach, we are going to see how you can get the day of the week without using any library. 
To do so, we are going to use the seller's formula for the Gregorian calendar. There is a link in the description in case you want to know more about this formula. The seller's formula will return a number that represents the day of the week for a given day, month and year. So here we can see how I converted the formula to Python. In case you want to copy this code, you can find the code in the blog article which is in the description. And now all we need to do is removing the references to the libraries and use our function instead. So let's run the code now. And amazing, the code is still working and returning Wednesday, which is the day of the week for that given date. So we reached the end of this video where we have seen how to calculate the day of the week using the daytime library, also using the calendar library, and also how to calculate the day of the week without using any library. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.